testing every Messi product versus every Ronaldo product. There will be seven categories, from shoes to merch, all the way to the exclusive hotels at the end of the video. The goal? To see who the GOAT of products really is. Starting with the first category, toys. This product is incredible. There is so much detail. You have the Argentina logo. Everything is gold, because obviously he won the World Cup and he's almost kissing it. Now let me show you Ronaldo's toy. This is what it was supposed to look like, but it didn't arrive on time. So that's the first point to Messi, I guess. Next category, shoes. I'm gonna start with Messi's one. Oh my God. All right, first impression of this shoe, they're incredible. They made this shoe because he won the World Cup. And as you can see, it's gold all over the back. It has three stars with every World Cup Argentina has won. He's number 10. Oh my God. But now it's time for Ronaldo's shoe. Let's open the box. The first thing I'm gonna check is the design. First impressions. Ah, oh my God. This shoe is amazing. It was actually made around his fifth Ballon d'Or on the back. You can see it says Quinto Triunfo, which means fifth win. And he has the CR7 logo on it as well. And unlike Messi's, these ones come with a little bag with every year he won the Ballon d'Or. <laughs> but before I give a point to any of these shoes, I'm gonna test two more things. The first thing I'm gonna test is how padded they are with the ball. I guess we just do one, one. There is no difference at all. Both feel about the same. The second thing I'm gonna check about these shoes is their price. Inside this paper, I have Messi's price and it's, oh my, $500. No way, no chance Ronaldo's are that expensive. This is Ronaldo's price. 1,820 pounds. Ronaldo's ones were $2,000, what? The difference in price on these shoes is crazy. So I think that's another point for Messi. But there are still many crazy products coming that can get Ronaldo a point. On to the next category. Now it's time to check some merch. I've ordered eight items from each player. Let's start with Messi's. We have shorts, underwear, a shirt, a hoodie, a bucket hat, a Christmas jumper. It even reads, we wish you a messy Christmas. <laughs> a backpack. It even comes with a lunch bag and a pencil case. And lastly, a wallet. All of this costed me $280, which I actually think is a bit expensive. I do have to give this outfit four and a half stars. It's really funny, but it is expensive. Now it's time for Ronaldo. I have underwear, a hoodie, a Christmas jumper that reads, all I want for Christmas is two. I got a cap, a backpack. It also comes with a pencil case and a side bag. Then we have a Ronaldo wallet. Then we even have some Ronaldo perfume. Now I smell like Ronaldo. All of this was $160, which is cheaper than Messi's, but still a bit expensive. But there is still one more item that I need to show you that will define who gets this point. And it is a special edition Ronaldo shirt with a sporting Lisbon. On the front of the box, you can see Ronaldo and then his signature. On the back, you can see how many games he played, how many goals he scored, the titles he won with that team, but let's open it. Opening it is a full experience. You get a free entry to the Sporting Museum. You get this Ronaldo medal. It's a replica of the first medal he won with Sporting. This has to be one of my favorite parts. His ID. <laughs> we have a free entry to the Ronaldo Museum that I might see later in the video. And lastly, we have a replica of the shirt he wore when he played for Sporting. And on the back, you can see Ronaldo's old number. I tried finding something like this for Messi, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So that seals the point for Ronaldo, giving him his first point. Next we have food. Here's all the food and drinks Messi promotes, which is actually a lot. And here is all the food Ronaldo promotes, which is barely anything, really. Let's start with Messi's burger. It's a bit messy. Let's try it. It's not bad. It's not great either. Messi also has chips, Gatorade, Budweiser, and Pepsi. The chips are incredible. The Gatorade is really good. The Pepsi, I like, but the Budweiser, I don't know anything about it. So I'm gonna let my dad try it. <laughs> now Ronaldo, on the other hand, has 
Water, which does taste like the best water in the world. Electrolytes, which actually taste very good. But then we have KFC wings. He doesn't advertise them anymore, but he used to a couple years ago. These are amazing. I can't lie, I think this point is pretty obvious. Messi has a lot more products, so I gotta give this point to him, which makes it 3-1 to Messi. I hope Ronaldo's food in his hotel is a lot better than Messi's later in the video. This next category is training products. Let's start with Messi's training ball and this claims that you can train like your football hero, Lionel Messi. All right, the way this ball works is kind of simple. You grab onto this handle and then with your feet, you just control the ball really. You can also do crazy stuff like this. Ooh, next product. Now we have Messi's training system. And in this one, Messi looks different. He's blonde. Inside that box, we have two cones and a ball that I'm gonna pump right now. Okay, this pump don't work. Let me use an electric one. Okay, okay, finally it's working. Can't lie, this ball is horrendous. <laughs> To use this product, you put the two cones down and then you kind of like dribble around it, but this ball is so small. It's made for like a 12-year-old or even a three-year-old. This is horrendous. What a goal, though. All right, in front of me, I have the last messy training product. I can't lie, everything so far has been horrendous. I just don't see how I can get better at football with them. This one is supposed to be a big goal. Okay, it looks good. It includes ball and pump. There was only this goal inside. Let's see if the goal is any decent. I'm gonna shoot with all my might. Oh, no, last attempt, last attempt. Okay, okay. See, easy. I think the goal is good. But what about Ronaldo products? First is the six pack training belt for your abs. It costed me $550. I haven't used this and I actually don't have abs, so I'll put it on and see how it feels. Let's turn this on and see if it hurts. It hurts. Oh, can you see it move? You see it like... I don't like this product at all, but it does work on like Messi's. But we still have more products to check. The second item is this, Terragon. Ronaldo has been promoting it for years and it costed me $400. But if you compare it with this, cheap version from Amazon, you will realize that this one is literally a hundred times better. So just to show you the difference, this is how fast the cheap massage gun can go. I can feel something, it just ain't too much. Now with the Theragun, let me show you how fast it goes. Look at that difference, bro. It just feels so much better. So for this category, even though Messi has a lot more items, they're not that good if you want to train. They're basically made for kids. So I gotta give this point to Ronaldo. That puts the scores 3-2. Messi's still winning though. This next category is going to be very hard. My team put together the four most random items they could find from each player. And my job is going to be to rank them in order at the end. Whatever player has the most random item on top will get the point. Remember, if Messi gets this point, the challenge is done. First, let's start with this Messi calendar. I mean, one of the random things about it is that it's a 2024 calendar, but everything is in Barcelona. It plays for Inter Miami right now. Next is this Ronaldo chain. It's made out of gold. Oh my God. I can't lie, this is very random, but I really, really like it. Next, I've got this Messi birthday set and this Ronaldo one. So I'm gonna show you what they look like. As you can see, I have both birthday sets on now, and I look incredibly beautiful. Ronaldo's has these seven. He also has balloons with his silhouette in Madrid and in Al Nasser. Messi's balloons are cool too. This one is from Barcelona, this one from Inter Miami. But I'm not gonna lie, they are both equally as random. Maybe Messi's is a bit more random, because even though it's all Inter Miami, he also has some Barcelona stuff. Next up, we have Messi's cutout. I can't lie, this is probably the weirdest one I have seen so far. I mean, what, what is bro wearing? I don't know what's going on with his hair either. This one will definitely be high up in the list, but we still have a couple more to see. Next, I have these Ronaldo Crocs. They are so weird. You can see so many versions of Ronaldo in this. We have a World Cup version, United version. Ooh, scoring a bicycle kick. As you can see, the Crocs are very nice, but it's so random to have football players on your Crocs. Next, we have this messy caution. I cannot lie, this is even worse than the Crocs. You know you normally use this to hug them, so every night you'll be hugging Messi. That's gotta be very weird. 
This messy cushion is definitely gonna be very high up in the list. <laughs> you are about to see the weirdest item from Ronaldo I have ever seen in my life. Are you ready? <laughs> it's a Ronaldo sculpture that was 3D printed. This doesn't even look like Ronaldo. I think this is a replica from a horrible statue they made of him a couple years ago. Now it's time to give you my rank. At number eight, we have Ronaldo's chain. It's the least weird one. I can see somebody wearing this. In number seven, we have Messi's calendar. It's weird that it's wrong, but I can see a lot of people owning a Messi calendar. Number six and five, I'll do birthday sets. If you're a Messi fan or a Ronaldo fan, it's normal to have a birthday set from them. Now this was the hardest one. I will say four, I'll put the Crocs. Because even though Crocs are not weird, the design is pretty weird. <laughs> I don't know who would own this. Maybe me. Now the top three. Number three, we have the pillow. It's weird, but it's not weirder than number two, because this is just a messy pillow, isn't it? And it's the messy card cutout. If you own this, you're probably a weird guy. <laughs> now, number one was clearly obvious. It has to be Ronaldo's statue. He looks creepy, doesn't even look like Ronaldo. Who would, in their same mind, have this in their home? <laughs> With this point going to Ronaldo, the GOAT debate will be decided by their hotels. First, it's Messi's hotel. To get here, I had to take a flight to Barcelona, Spain. Then, take a three-hour bus to Andorra. And then, a 13-minute taxi to get here. That is definitely not a great start for Messi's hotel. I think Ronaldo's one will be a lot easier to get to. Now let's go inside the room. I can't lie, I don't know what it looks like inside, but the room is called 510, 10 like Messi. And there is also a Messi photo right here in gold. That's actually pretty fancy. Now I'm gonna check the room for the very first time. Oh, this is incredible. Let me give you a room tour. A dining table, a living room, a massive bed. Ooh. A bath tub, but the best part, a messy bathrobe. It has 10 on the back and it even says M from Messi right here. Right behind me is actually the coolest part of this entire place. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. This has to be the best part of the entire place. And the jacuzzi is right here. Now it's time to check the rest of the hotel and try some activities. But before we do that, let's go and get some food because I am very, very hungry. I just made it inside Messi's restaurant. As you can see behind me, it's very football themed and everybody is wearing a shirt number 10. For 68 euros, I've ordered the Messi pasta, the Messi burger, and a Ballon d'Or dessert. And this is easily the most football themed dessert I have ever seen. It may just look like a Ballon d'Or, but there is something inside. So let's break it and see what's inside. I think we can open it now. In this moment, I started to believe this hotel might beat Ronaldo's, but I still have to check the activities. One of the things you can do in Messi's hotel is come skiing. They actually offer this as an activity. I don't know if that looked epic to you guys, but to me, that was incredible. Right behind me is the second activity I can do in Messi's hotel. It's huge and it's actually a spa. It had a sauna, a cold plunge, and this massive pool all for me. I am ready to give this place the final review. This is one of the best hotel rooms I have ever been in. But there truly ain't much about Messi in this place. But considering all the fun I've had here, I think it deserves four stars. Just add more Messi photos. Now let's check if Ronaldo's hotel can beat this one. I'm in Ronaldo's hotel. For this hotel, I only had to take a four hour flight to the island of Madeira in Portugal and then take a 15 minute taxi to get here. It's already beating Messi. But let's go and see my room. Wow, this is actually beautiful. Let me give you a room tour. There is a bed. I've got a couch. We have a massive TV. And the best part is we have a PlayStation 4. Not a PlayStation 5. And my favorite game, FIFA 17. All right, guys, kind of like this is the absolute best part of this room that Messi Hotel didn't actually have at all. We have Ronaldo paintings. And just outside my room, there is a balcony. This room is actually pretty cool, but we still have to explore the hotel, check the activities and try some food. Let's start by exploring the hotel. We have an outdoor gym Ooh, with a beautiful view of the entire city. 
there is a massive pool. <laughs> this place was also a lot more themed around Ronaldo than Messi's hotel. They had photos, trophies, shirts, even a Ronaldo mirror. If this is not the most incredible thing you have ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. This place was already looking better than Messi's, but I still had to check the restaurant. Alrighty, I look through the menu and they do have Ronaldo dishes. Let's go. So for $32, I've ordered the bowl CR7 and the pizza CR7. I actually did half pizza CR7 and half pizza penalty. Let's try the first one. Wow. This is much better than Messi's. Let's try the next dish. The consistency of this pizza is incredible. I'm about to try Ronaldo's cheese. Much better than Messi's food, I am sorry. And now it's time to try the activities. This will decide which hotel is the best and who the GOAT really is. In Messi's hotel, you could go skiing, you could go to a spa, but in Ronaldo's hotel, you can go hiking, which is very scary, and check the natural pools, which are incredible. Look at this view. But most importantly, there is the Cristiano Ronaldo Museum. This museum was massive and had a bit of everything. There were even three Ballon d'Ors and Ronaldo's chocolate statue. Ooh, it smells like chocolate. That's the way I can eat Ronaldo. Even if you're not a Ronaldo fan, you have to admit this place is kind of crazy. All right, boys, I've done everything there is to do in Ronaldo's hotel. And with this being the last category of the video, I have to give Ronaldo's hotel four and a half stars, which means that Ronaldo is the GOAT, at least when it comes to products. And if you love this video, you'll love the next one. Make sure to click here to watch it. Maybe I tried more products there.